just play a half and go home because we played very, very good basketball against two very, very top elite teams. And for whatever reason, we didn't come out the second half to um, play at the level that's necessary to win. You know, you, know, you, know, you know the good teams like that are going to play at a different level. And of course, they made some shots. And um, by that time, the game was back in their favor. They really raised their level of play in the second half. I just think they they, they made the shots because you got to deal with you know, when you got to deal with Dwight Howard who's going to make plays. It's going to force your team to uh, get out and help in ways that you don't really want to help. The best thing in the NBA, if you can guard your guy, you do that. But unfortunately, we're going to to guard him one. So you're going to come down with schemes trying to help, and then pick and rolls. You know, he doesn't look for the ball in the middle of the floor. He looks for the ball way above the rim, blocks, which compromise. You come in over help, and then of course Gilbert. I thought Gilbert did a great job of the pace of keeping the ball and the defender on his hip and held on to it long enough to see both guys, the roll of Dwight as well as the shooter. Um, um, I, I thought that uh, Hito really was, had a sneaky triple double there. Well, how, how did he facilitate what they were doing? Well, he, he's, he, he can play. You know, he's a very, very skilled guy. He can shoot the basketball. He's, of course, he's 6'10", so he can see over people. Um, he's a willing passer, and then when he's over, he makes shots. So he's a talented player. You know, his team is at a level where they're trying to compete for uh, the ring. You know, so uh, we're trying to make ourselves into a position where one day we can be the same way. You feeling hope based on these two first halves and these two oh, top teams? I believe we got a good team. I believe a team that, you know, we played missing a bunch of pieces for our team as well. We're missing a guy that we probably could have gone down low with in David Lee. Uh, but nevertheless, I see that our, the rest of our guys have competed well enough uh, to really function as a good basketball team in the NBA. Um, can we compete against Miami and Orlando and Boston and so forth? Probably not. But we can still give a great showing and compete. And I think we do that, but only before half right now. Long portion of some of your guards want to get inside and really look for the pass mm -hmm. instead of the shot. Is that just a Dwight Howard factor? Oh, without question. I mean, no matter how you say it, because if he's, he's, you don't know where he is, and he's coming to block shots. So they did a good job of getting into the paint and moving the ball to open shooters. In that case, you got to have guys who want to knock him down every single time. Because if you don't, you did what you need to be, to be done by getting into the paint to move the basketball for an open shot. And we have those. You, know, you got to knock those down because you don't get that many opportunities. If you go to the basket, you have to, your normal way of trying to lay it up is not normal. You have to now adjust uh, because uh, he's going to be coming to block the shots. Then we have our guards, Monte and Steph, had some great drop off passes to some of our bigs down low. And of course, I'm sure that factor in too. You know, where is he? You need rushing shots. What do you think of the minutes you got out of Brandon? That was good. That was some real positive minutes. You know, guys that stayed with you, worked hard. Uh, and that's all you want out of all your players. Uh, you don't know when, through an 82 game season, when someone's going to have an opportunity. And he stayed ready. I thought he did it. I think in the first half, he was one of the reasons why we were up the way we were. You, you, you can't. There's no two things you got to be able to do in the NBA if you are not elite talented. You got to take care of the basketball. And you got to somehow rebound them. And if you can do those things and keep the turnovers down, well, you got turnovers, you're not getting a chance to score. You got to at least get a chance to get a shot up. Too many turnovers are going to hurt you on every night. And when you play against a good team, you're giving them a second opportunity rather than perhaps they've already scored a very quick possession right away. I'd say for about two, about two weeks, we've played very good basketball. And, uh, we've done some really nice things. For them to come and play on this road against these two types of teams right here, and also Atlanta, uh, Charlotte as a new uh, pushing team to kind of move forward with everything new there. I thought, I've learned that they can compete, but now can they compete for 48 minutes against good teams? You know, uh, because the mistakes you make against a really good team, they're going to capitalize on every time. So I've learned that we got some guys that are doing some really nice things. Our team is doing some really nice things. But as I said, against the great teams, um, you can't make mistakes the way we have. We make mistakes at critical moments uh, in the basketball game. You got to come out in the third quarter to a good team and make them call the first time out. That means you got to finish your plays, you got to take care of the basketball, and you got to be where you can be.